welcome out to another week of Gundam Wednesday as we get kicked off here and ready to go. I'm super happy to pronounce that we will probably be finishing up our Wing Zero Gundam tonight. So uh, we're going to be working on its final thing that we need to do. We've got the, the Buster Rifle all painted and I think it came out like pretty solid as well for the hand painting that we did. The two-tone got the coloring on the inside as well to be fixed up and repaired it looks pretty good even oh man the repairs they were they were nasty for this one so <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump into what we've got going on tonight uh, with our panel lining I've actually I'm using my new brush I'm really excited to use this one in general um, as part of the, I've been using it to paint, but I think it's going to be a great panel lining brush um, due to this like really fine tip that it's got. So, the only thing we have left to panel line is actually the legs themselves. Um, the legs and the, the, the bottom half of the, the mobile suit um, and the weapons, it's actually going to be a lot quicker than it, it sounds like because we have so much here. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we're going to do some panel lining tonight and finish it up in. Um, let Wing Zero make his permanent residence on the shelf behind us as well. So that is where we are at tonight. Like always with my panel lining, I just use a old um, toothpaste cap and some black wash. Um, specifically if I want nice and deep um, dark panel lines. So and that's what I like here. But you can see, oh look at just look at that fine tip of just black right there so it's it's pretty solid in general so we are oh and I've also got a slew of q-tips over here to help out our cotton swabs so we're going to touch this yeah the panel lines real good already Goal to finish it tonight. I'm gonna show off Mercurius and V8, the kits themselves. I got them right over, right here. It's the P Bandai ones. Got them from Karama Toys, and hopefully, you guys have seen like me, the Battle Log Gundams. I've seen them come out in stores, but some places are having a hard time uh, fulfilling pre-orders right now. It looks like. I pre-ordered mine some time ago. I got five of them. I didn't like them all, all the designs, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I did pre-order some, but they've been delayed now until this month specifically. Yeah, this is panel lighting. Awesome. The reason why I was excited for it is because this tip is also large enough to hold like a good amount of um, wash in addition to that. So it is once again doing a supremely great job. for getting a later start tonight as in addition to this um, other things how to be taken care of if you're anything like me it's been a busy week at school for my children work for me <clears throat> a lot of things going on co-worker slash friend is having a baby well he Specifically, he's not having the baby, but his, his spouse is. So yeah, I mean, granted, I guess I don't have very much to do with that. They actually live in Florida. So, if anything, I'm just along for the ride and to show off funny gifts about it. And curiously enough, hmm, throw into the chat. Do you say... GIF, or do you, heaven forbid, say GIF as well? 
<clears throat> Let it be noted that in Spanish, in another language, it's mentioned as GIF as well. Just saying. And yes, in Japanese, it's even said as GIFU. I will say the brush is getting a little bit flat now as far as the tip. It's not holding its tip fully like I normally like to see for a wash brush. But it's still overall doing a great job. It's particularly good for these big fill in spots like we see here with the circles. It's filling them in quite nicely. Or these vents. That's gonna look real good. But it is dropping a fair amount into the the panel lines themselves, so it's doing once again doing a really good job. The beautiful thing about panel lining with the wash though is that just go over with even just a, a cotton swab and some water and all this stuff will just all this extra line stuff will just wash away and if not it makes a good smear to give it a little bit of worn look as well makes it look real good so we don't have to wipe it or anything right away we're just doctoring it up adding our spots here. Now this is getting ready to, to be wiped. It's been sitting for close to a minute now. Maybe. How long are we into the stream? How long? How long? 11 minutes? Yeah. Oh wow, it's been sitting some time. mostly panel lined up it just it just makes such a difference looks like we got a scratch right there through the paint and yep just wiping away just a little bit here and there just remove some of it I don't mind using the good old mouth trick here because it also works just as good, if not better, sometimes than the water. Nice clean. Nice and cleaned up. effects there if we wanted it, but we're not going to stick with the streak effects. We're going to clean it up a little bit more. I do say though, at the same time with this washing, you do have to keep a cl clean cotton swab though, pretty much. Because it's not, it will s drag too much of the, the wash with it as well. smear the paint. Well, not smear the paint. Have too much weathering, per se. But washes are great for both panel lining and for weathering. 
I've used it for some weathering as well. Viejo Mecca makes some great washes. There's the rust one and the oil spills, which are actually a little bit enamel based too. It work really, really good. Which I really need to do a rust build. I have never done a rust build. I kind of, I kind of really want to to dabble in that specifically. So, want to do a rust build? some of that actually that's making quite a mess in a bad way we need some in here give that some depth there specifically we need gravity to pull pull it pull it Clean up some here on the top side. Now this does come off a little bit easier, I see, on um, paint than it does on just like a sealer or something some most times. So if you if you are fully painting them, great. This is gonna help out with some nice clean panel lining in general. But if you want to, I like the for my like streak effects and stuff though. That works really good on plastic. Like just straight plastic. Especially if you want to get like some good good streaks, then um, sand it down, like a like a high grit or so. And then from that high grit, you're able to um, just put some wash right there and wipe it off. And man, will you have some good bumps and bruises and scratches and everything from that. I might actually need a second brush. Want a little bit finer tip. This one's actually getting kind of wide now that we're getting deep into it. So another fan favorite for me is this one. It actually has a very fine tip, even though it's long, but the the length of it allows it to hold the um the wash pretty well from the brush itself. See, we got a pretty good black tip now. And we'll be able to get right in between here. Be a little bit hard to see from where your guys are at. Sorry about that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's a nice deep panel line there. And you really see it right there.
Alright, almost done with the mid waist here. I'm gonna make this other one. Welcome on in tonight. No, you're fine. We're actually going to go a little bit later. I started late, in all honesty. So we're 21 minutes in. So hopefully we're not interrupting too much of anything else. And that the upload quality is not that bad. Man, because, man, oh my goodness. I am going to have more words with Cox because my upload speeds right now are just awful. And it's like this time of day or something, so maybe I just need to do my stream at 6 a.m. Actually, we're not going to do that to any of us. That's just a terrible idea. But... Alright. Our major panel lining done there. We're going to let that dry a little bit. Flipped up like that. Oh, and I just dropped that into the panel. Into the wash. How about that? Alright. Back part, we're going to scrape off. And when I really mean scrape off, I mean just wipe away the, the access. I do go through Q-tips fast, because once again, once it gets solid like gray like that or black like that, can't really use it anymore. It's got too much wash on it at that point. So I'm going to give it another little dot in this actual black circle though. I want that to be a little bit darker than what it is. And then there's some hidden panel lines right there. Right there at the bottom. You can't, can't even see them on camera. But they're there. I promise. I promise they're there. But there we go. For the most part, that's what it's looking like. I do a white, little bit of wiping away here now. This one was not quite deep enough, actually. Go over it one more time, just slightly. Same thing here on the opposite side. Yeah, that a boy wing zero. Look at you. Look at you with your lower half done. I'm actually gonna go to the shield next. We got some fun spots here, especially like right here. This is a great spot. Just stick our brush down. Nothing too fancy. You can even wipe away right away. Wipe, wipe away right away. It'll look real good. Just because we got these grooves already cut into the plastic. Looks great. There we go. Gonna get these right here. That is not filling itself out. Gravity, take it. Take it away, gravity. There we go. Got it for the most part. We're going to let that sit for a little bit before we go any further with it. 
fill this up. We'll wipe away access here shortly. Actually, that looks really good by itself. That came out a nice little touch. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to paint these little bits right there. Oh, I'm gonna have to go do, back and do that. That's gonna be on the side there, guys. I'm not gonna burden you with that one. You already know what the, the color looks like in general that we've been using. But I definitely would not have remembered to do that if it wasn't for the panel lining. little vents on the inside of the shield as well. I'm actually surprised these actually just stay white, but yeah, they're white in the show as well, so I just left those as they were. Not being too careful there, we're just going to once again wipe away any excess. It's going to be just fine. This is the one that probably needs the most to just like just sit in there. All right, now time for the wing units. I actually cannot tell you how thrilled I am with how these came out. Like I love the interior of these wings being like that. I think it adds just so much depth to it. Um, as well. Now we're going to even take it a step further with this panel lining too. So we're going to do all these big open panel areas. Just like that. Maybe get some love right here too. But I want to leave those other lines to be nice and crisp still. I like them as they are. shows up a little bit better in person than it does on camera. I'm sorry about that. Take this right down here. It's not going to be a heavy panel line per se, but it'll show up nicely enough. Especially because I'm going to leave a lot of that excess there. And the same here too. Leave a lot of excess there almost kind of like brush it on there just darken the the paint at this point so we just darken the piece but it's a vent so you know it would be used like that it would be nice and dark and grimy same with here not going to be too careful at all just rubbing the brush around it we're going to let the rest of the the wash there just work itself away. More for the vents. That's that. Oh, looking at this one, we need to do the... I'm going to close them up first before I do the outsides. Now, I'm not going to touch this gold and blue combo here. We're going to just leave that the same, but everywhere else. Mainly on the white parts, actually. Of 
hopefully everybody had a chance to see episode three of Battle Log, which was even shorter than the first two. Man, they were super short, Evo Mikey, if you saw them. It's so weird that I started watching it, but didn't have a chance to finish it. I got like one minute in, uh, no joke, and then I had to go back to doing the things that I have to do. We got family coming into town of my place, and so with that, that means we're in a mad dash to get the house looking good for them. Especially because this family is the first time they've actually seen this newer house. Alright. Now we're going to do these parts. is actually right here. We do actually have some legitimate panel lines around this. There we go. It's again gonna just let us sit there a little bit with it off here in a moment. Yep, forgot that right there. Oh, got somewhere it doesn't need to belong. Alright, look at that, it's going super, super fast. That was the hardest part really because there's just so many nicks and crannies there. And then of course weapons are always super fun to do. Especially because you get to darken some of these areas which will look really nice and warm. This is a vent per se for the rifle, so yeah, darken that bad boy up. random circles and places. Alright. Um, actually a really good way to add some fun effects is get one of those small little hand drills and you know just drill out some holes that actually make sense for your Gundams too. Uh, close to some of these panel lines and such. And it really adds a good effect to it. with the colors here. I'm really, really happy with them. They really came out just looking like, just like the anime. I, I could not have been more pleased. just we scribed into the rifle now they're really gonna come into play here
little bit more here around the this portion of the rifle. Alright, we're ready to let that sit a little bit. We're actually going to go back now to our shield. Clean it up. is just that easy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Got that all fixed up. Okay, shield done. Let's go to our wings. just got a little bit darker right here. It's got a nice little effect though. I'm not worried about cleaning up this line too much either. Oh, did I miss this side? I think I did. Alright, that's done. We can even go ahead and close this up now. I gotta find a pose for this guy. I kind of want to have both rifles open is what I'm thinking. Like his twirly spin attack that he has. It's a pretty good one if you ask me. It's a pretty good pose. That I have not decided yet. Also the buster rifle looks a little bit better still combined versus separated like I had it on my shelf at first. But what do you think, Eva Mikey? Anybody viewing? What's your favorite pose for Wing Zero if you've ever seen him before?
brush is not holding nearly as much as I remember it to. I might have to grab another one. Grab a different brush for this. I need to drag a little bit more. Let's see. I'll try this one out. zone. I'm sure you guys all have your zone too. There's not actually panel lines per se for it to stick in, it's just these valleys in between the, the mold itself. It is where it's making it really hard for... You want to get that line nice and crisp. it actually be these areas are really good actually for a panel line marker in my humble opinion but I have not conceded to that yet have not conceded I tried panel line markers once and it was on a painted gun on two and it just it worked for like a little bit but not well enough for my liking Surprisingly enough though, another option here is using a just a really dark pencil. You can use a really nice fine tip pencil and get these really clean too. And even like some um, kind of material they even say to use pencils in some of those. But there's our wings, all done up. I am definitely happy with them.
so guys stick with him stick with it just a little more for the wings here and then we're on to the final portion I guess we have to do one more bus arrival still how that came out so far looks nice and like a buster rifle go figure right go figure we're gonna get rid of some of this excess back into here. It kind of lined up a little bit more than I wanted it to. There we go. There's our bus rifle all panel lined up. And I did it again. These little things right here as well. These are supposed to be painted. I need to paint those. <coughs> Go back and remember to do that. Oh, note if you do any of the Wing Zeros, especially because Wing Zero Sky is coming out from Battle Log, um, the Buster Rifle handle specifically. Um, it's very, very tight in the hand, so if you're going to paint it, make sure it's a very light coat of that color. If not, it will easily scratch, and I'm actually, even now, because of fattening that out, um, I am also doing another step where I'm actually fully opening up the hand versus trying to slide it in. So, open up the hand to put that part in. Uh, try not to do it too often because it does loosen the connection within the where the hand sits. Um, every bit of pressure there changes the the pressure of the plastic, moves it out just a little bit every single time. So you obviously don't do, want to do it a lot. brushes allow me to be really careful and it's got a really great tip um, these are once again atlas brushes so if you want to pick some up yourself or some you know hand painting or even just once again this is doing great with panel lining too I'm actually very fond of how it's turning out and controlled brush. It's almost literally as if I'm just using a pen to go through it, but more controlled with the ink itself.
last little bit here, last little bit on the rifle. I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry. I'm pumped. I'm gonna take it out to the, the paint lab and seal it up and we're gonna call it great because that's how it's been turning out. Actually, even that panel lining did so good that we have to do very little wiping away. Of course, it's always okay to wipe away, but sometimes it just comes out so good that you don't need to. Or you get the lightings in there perfectly, like this one is one of those instances. Yeah, that's that's just crisp. Crisp, crisp, crisp. Slurp, slurp, there it is. <laughs> brings up another fine point. Putting this together, we get to see another one, another area right here. We're gonna go around it. Gotta make sure it doesn't go too much on the inside there. I really think I'm looking to do split arms like wide or like one gun pointed out one gun pointed out type deal I want to show off because we did it we did a custom paint job for the Buster rifles here so I think it would be a shame to not show that off specifically myself so ah I know there's a moment in the TV show. I have to go back and watch it specifically where he has the gun separated and he does fire just one of them. Um, not both of them together, not both of them separately, but he fires just one of them in a direction. So and I think it's like an arm pointed out and I think it's even left arm too. That might be the pose we go with specifically. What does that mean? Gotta go back and watch some more Gundam Wing just to get that one shot and duplicate it. All right, this is gonna be the hardest, uh, not hardest, most demanding part of this panel lining, which is going to be the legs. So we're going to start on the back of the upper portion of the leg. My bigger concern here is there's the type of paint that I used. I haven't used this paint with this one wash before so I don't know how it's going to work but since it's flat I feel like it's going to be absorbing a lot but there's one more way to find out and we had to repaint this though because of what happened on the when I took it to a different location it got lots of scratches so I had to redo the paint job, which I was not overly happy with. Because it was like some black on white. Yeah, so this paint is, this top, uh, excuse me, this paint layer underneath it is actually very, very absorbent. And it's drying out pretty fast. You can already see that like, those are some dry spots and the edges are not even close to crisp. Yeah, and just a little bit of my fear too. It's, some of us not wiping away, we might have to go a little bit heavier with our um, cleaner here. So we have to get maybe some air um, paint thinner in order to get it off. It's actually not too shabby but it's definitely not as clean as I'm used to. It's the paint. It's the paint. For sure. We're gonna need to, once again, get a, something a little bit stronger.
or should we paint it one more time? Hmm. Light bulb moment. I might want to paint it one more time now. Because it's not, it's definitely not doing what I want it to do with this current paint coat on top of it. And maybe even need to seal it or repaint it. I think sealing is the way to go though, now that I've thought about it a little bit more. And to give it the same effect. But yeah, you can see that those panel lines, yeah, they don't look good at all. I mean, this one looks all right, but the back of the leg looks terrible. It wouldn't hurt to also drill those holes a little bit deeper, too. So the panel line can actually stick in. Yeah, we're gonna have to paint these first. The legs, the legs, you can't see it, but they don't have the same, like, satin texture that the rest of the wings and everything else do. But, um, I hate to say, but yeah, that's gonna have to be where we go with that. It's all because of scratches in the flight. We're gonna place these... Yeah, that is so tight. That is so, so tight. Yeah, I know I keep saying it, but yeah, I've definitely come to the conclusion that it, it needs one more coat in order to do it. But we're going to conclude, um, because that's something we can really do off camera. You've seen the rest of how to do the panel lining anyway, for this guy. So, I'm not looking you to burden you with things that you've already learned or things that you've already done. So we are going to go ahead and just get this, I mean, the upper torso though, man. It just it came out to exactly how I wanted to see it. I'm totally digging the Swing Zero in general. For our first Gundam Wing, Gundam Wings they kit. the wings. I actually really love the design. I mean, the design of the wings just are stellar. And I want to say we did a super cool paint job with them as well. But they came out really, really cool. And I'm kind of sad that I don't have a Pose fully yet decided to show off the wings because they are kind of worth showing. But maybe we'll just give them a slight opening here. Just slight. It also gets really tight from those engines, too. tilting up in addition to it yeah I can live with that it's pretty close to what we see in the anime too I don't know if the wings are fully I mean fully open or partially open or even fully closed but I like where we're at with it Buster rifle the other one to the side. That way we can show off all the details there. Yeah. And so we're gonna have to take some of this apart and repaint it. Fortunately, the pieces come off easily enough for us to repaint it. That's it. 
So the foot, the foot actually is not an issue. The foots came out, the feet just came out just fine. It's literally just the these portions here. So we're gonna go over them with a, the top coat. Actually, you know, let's change that. I, oh man, I just can't decide. It's a tough choice here. Um, but either way, we're gonna paint that over and then show it up. So I'm gonna show the final product up on uh, Discord for everybody just because we're going to conclude this one because we'll be done with it probably before next Wednesday, Wednesday. so um, that being the case though so, um, love to hear your thoughts your comments your ideas um, we're going to get started next on these bad boys we're not going to build them together we're actually going to build them separately even though it comes in a pack of so yes, Mercurius and May 8. And so I love this picture right here. That's actually probably what we're going to try to um, mimic in general, but with them pointing towards Wing Zero. It's going to be, I'm not going to do a full diorama because they actually never fight on Earth. They fight in space and that would just be a bunch of hanging stuff in the first place. The sad part about all of this, though, in all honesty, and I'll show it to you, is that there is not a single ounce of paint recommendation. Now, granted, these are dark blue, and these are a hmm, not so friendly red. What I mean my friendly red is that, hey, when we start doing some nipping and stuff, we're going to see these things. So, the, I know the idea from them, from the first place, and this is totally spoilers for what we're going to be doing, is that you just build these and just let these be as they are. But, I'm still, once again, I'm looking for that accuracy. I love to make it mimic the show. Uh, we got some good colors here already, uh, for the most part. So, man, I've already watched some of the episodes here for this portion um, about it. But, um, yeah, we're definitely going to get these accurate and everything and get started with them. And I particularly like, oh man, the Bay 8 rifle is just so freaking cool. I loved it in the TV show. I love it here. And it's only going to get better because we're going to be able to have that detail that we don't sometimes get to see in the TV show. That's why we build the model kits in the first place. That's what I love about it, is to make that happen. So, just, but look at that. That is the rifle set. It's literally huge for all of it. All these pieces are in. And then there's the, <laughs> there's the sword and the gun for Vega, uh, for Mercurius, excuse me. But that's the rifle. So I'm loving the idea of the work that we gotta do for that. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And so, uh, more to come with this. Um, so, yes, I spoiled some of what we're gonna be doing, but hopefully it'll be worth it, guys. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. Pretty, really, really, actually excited for it. The only thing that I don't have, and I've gotta find a way around it, is this daggum freaking pink color. And so, and then it is indeed pink. Like the the shoulder pieces and these few mid pieces in the torso as well are pink. And so I don't have a pink color. So I may make it just a maybe just a lighter red. Just paint the reds in two different color primers, and we might be good there. But anyway, that's a conversation for another time. That's for another Gundam Wing say. Um, if you do tune in, let me know which one do you want to see first. Do you want to see Mercurius and get our red, get our red mobile suit done, or do you want to see VA VA8? So, uh, drop that um, in the Discord, um, or even just throw it right here in chat, and we will get that done, and you know, we'll have our next project already ready to go. So, I'm excited to uh, post up the final results for um, Wing Zero here. He's going to be done in no time, actually. So, we're just going to, once again, do something with the legs, panel line them, and call it good at that point. 
and so we should all have that done this um, within the next week so uh, that being the case though I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend um, as well uh, finish off the, your week strong take care of those things that you need to and we will see you next time hope you have a fantastic time go build some gumpla we'll talk to you later